self-worth and that's kind of the theme of this video is where is your self-worth how do you view yourself do you feel that you're good enough do you feel that you're capable enough i feel there's a lot of people around walking around that their self-worth is low my self-worth used to be very very low you know early on early early when it used to be extremely low i felt that was never good enough and was never capable enough i needed val constant validation from others 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 if i didn't get that it would just drop i had to say to myself okay how long am i going to keep this up how long is this going to be a thing for me so i had to really really sit down and start to revamp my thought process and that's why the gym has been a very important aspect of my growth and my self-worth because it allowed me to elevate it you can't look at the gym and compare yourself to others that's the first step when improving your self-worth do not compare yourself to others you're on your journey if you're making projects like with jujitsu you know if you're starting out your white belt your blue belt you can't be comparing yourself to the purples browns black belts they were on their journey as well and they got to the where they need to get to you are on your individual journey you are on your own journey and if you're making incremental steps forward and that's strong that's a win that should be boosting your score you can't just go from one to 80 and think okay here i am no it's gonna require one two three four you might go back to three five six seven eight you might come but are you making progress and these are the things that i had to tell myself and i had to rewire the way i was thinking and with the gym oh man the gym can be a powerful tool if you know how to harness it keyword tool the self-improvement, of course, we all know that. Look good, feel good. When we look in the mirror and we can feel good about ourselves, it's not an ego thing. You should, when you walk, look in that mirror, you should feel good. Like, okay, I look good. I feel good today. You know, you know the work that you put in to get there. For me, something that I lean heavily on that helped me with my self-worth was the discipline. And I know it's an ongoing thing. I always talk about discipline, but it is, it's the core. It's a fundamental thing that you need if you want to improve, not only just in the gym, not only just self-worth, but allow it to spill over into other aspects of your life. When you have that discipline and that routine, it can translate into other areas of life. When you have that commitment and you stick to it, day in, month out, year out, it gives you that confirmation that, okay, you can weather the storm. You can do this. You can be the one to make a difference in yourself. That's why I'm big on having structure and routine because I didn't have that. I was just all over the place. Didn't have a, a plan, didn't have a little roadmap, a strategy. So I was just also, of course, what do you expect was gonna happen? Do you have a plan? What is, are you disciplined? Do you have your routine? Are you structured? Because when you have structure and you have those mile markers, long and short term, when you hit them, that sense of achievement, just man, it gets powerful. And that's what I've had to do day in, day out. Those mile markers, short and long term, which has then helped me, okay, we're getting a little bit closer, incremental steps. So now you're not focusing on what this person is doing, what that person is doing, and comparing yourself. You know, we can get motivated and inspired and show gratitude that, hey, this person's on their path. They did it. Okay, I know I can do it too. But you still have to be on your journey. You still have to know, okay, what do I need to do? Shout out to this person. They did it. They did their thing. But what do I I need to do? What does my roadmap look like? What does my pathway look like? And okay, am I hitting the objectives like I need to? And if you're doing that, man, you're winning. That self-worth should feel strong. It should feel profound. It should have an impact on, on yourself and your psyche and your mental. And that's how I, why I've been able to just stick with training for so long, just stay consistent with it. Because 
For me, self-worth is I want to be the best version of myself. I want to be in the best shape that I can be. I want to be as financially set as possible. Yes, I want those things. And when I walk in a room and I know, hey, I put the work in, I can be in this room. I could be at this event. I could be at this fancy hotel. I can be in this country because I know my pathway. I know the steps that I took to get here, to prepare myself, to build myself. So nobody can take that away from me because I know what I had to do. I don't know what anybody else did. I'm not focusing on anyone's pathway. I'm not comparing myself to anyone's path in their journey. Salute to everybody who's hitting their goals making things happen. I love that. That gets me fired up. But I'm not comparing myself because that is just a slippery slope. If you start comparing yourself, there's always going to be somebody somewhere out there who is better in a certain area than you are. It's just what it is. I think sometimes we have this thing about perfection that we just, it just has to be. And I'm guilty of it. I was guilty of these things. But I had to just start making those changes. So when people ask me, how do you, how long have you been working out? How do you stay? You just get up and 430 and it doesn't, it doesn't matter. My self-worth. I know where my bar is at. I know what I need to do. And sometimes people are not going to understand it. And no problem. You know what you need to do. I got thought that- And it's a ongoing thing i'm still here i'm still putting it in and it's never going to stop so i want you guys to work on that self-worth right are you subconsciously saying to yourself you're not good enough are is there some where some you know deep in that psyche saying you don't belong you can and we have to really be honest with yourself because we can play and say oh no, I think I'm I'm this, I'm that, I'm the best. No, no, no. When you are in certain rooms, certain people, where is that? What is that subconscious telling you? What is that voice saying? Is it saying like, cool, I'm here too. I can be here. Or saying, I don't, I don't know. Should I be in this? Well, think about it. Let's get it.